Hello, I'm Brittany Perrick, a geologist for the Ohio Geological Survey. I'm standing nearly 500 feet above the Ohio River Valley on an outcrop in Raven Rock State Nature Preserve. Dedicated in 1993 by Charles A. Brown, Raven Rock boasts a fantastic view where the Scioto and the Ohio Rivers meet near Portsmouth. The preserve takes its name from the appearance of the outcrop. Near the top, the jutting edges look like a bird's head and beak, and the cliff face takes on the appearance of outstretched wings. Lore has it that Native Americans used the overlook to survey the river and ambush approaching invaders. The Raven Rock and Associated Arch are composed of Mississippian Age sandstone formed some 300 million years ago. Along with its advantageous position, Raven Rock offers a unique view into the life and death of natural arches. To one side, we can see the remnants of another arch, known as abutments, the arch having been eroded to the point of collapse. Raven Rock Arch still stands and spans 15 feet across and is less than two feet wide at its narrowest point. To the other side, we can see a small alcove forming in the rock that, over time, will likely expand until a new arch is created. This hole is forming because of inconsistent cementation within the sandstone. Some areas are cemented together more weakly than others. Erosional processes affect these areas faster, eventually forming domes and arches. Several other smaller arches can be found here, on the hillside just below Raven Rock Arch. The most notable thing about Raven Rock, aside from the arch, is the view. But the Ohio River was not always here. Prior to the Pleistocene Ice Age, more than two and a half million years ago, the Taze River was a major drainage system in Ohio. Its headwaters began in North Carolina, passing northwestward through West Virginia before entering Ohio near Wheelersburg and continuing north to Chillicothe. When glaciers began to creep into Ohio during the Pleistocene, they dammed the Taze northward flow, backing up the water and creating large lakes. Eventually, the lakes drained, but in a different direction, creating channels that helped shape the modern path of the Ohio River. <laughs>